I can't let them get away with this. It's all right. Oh, it feels so good. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2023 thriller You're Killing Me. The film is co-directed by Beth Hanna and Jaron Lauder and it stars Michaeli Miller, Bryce Anthony Heller, Dermot Mulroney and the late Anne Hesch. Right, the film focuses on Michaeli Miller's character Eden who is a resourceful young lady. She is in um, school, she's got She's very bright. She's got all the grades that she needs, but uh, she can't get into the university, the elite university that she wants to get into. Uh, she's been kind of put on a waiting list. So one of her, um, one of the people she goes to school with, um, Schroeder, she approaches him and asks him to ask his dad, who is a senator, if he will consider giving her a letter of recommendation to get into this um university she wants to get into he kind of shrugs her off but she knows that he's having a party that night so she decides to turn up with her best friend at this party in order to try and change his mind to get this letter that she needs however while they're at the party um, she soon is made aware um, that there, the, the, there is a missing girl basically a missing teenager from their school uh, and she kind of accidentally looks at someone's fro phone um, who is a friend of Schroeder who's throwing the party and on that phone it shows him uh, and a group of his friends essentially it looks like compelling evidence of this missing teenager uh, that they were definitely the last to see her on the night she disappeared this gets alarm bells raised uh, she gets very very concerned and the rest of the evening kind of tur turns into a battle of wits in order for her to get out report to the police before her, um, his senator father returns home. Right, what are my thoughts on You're Killing Me? Well, this um, is a pretty decent and well put together thriller. There are some horror elements thrown in here, but I think this is more of a thriller than anything, anything else. It doesn't lean massively uh, into the horror genre. Um, and I think what we have here is a, a very strong central performance by Michaeli Miller who plays Edie and who plays this really quite smart and intelligent young lady um, who, you know, is very single-minded. She knows what she wants. She wants this letter of recommendation. She'll kind of do what it, it needs to to get this letter of recommendation. However, she's got very, very strong moral compass too. So when she suspects that, you know, the guy that's throwing this party is, you know, the number one suspect, him and his two friends... Uh, having some heavy involvement in the, this missing teenager you know she's not going to let that lie you know she's not going to kind of compromise her morals uh, in order to bring them to justice which I thought was quite good it's she it, it was a it was a strong character to get behind sometimes I think uh, in these type of movies uh, they, they kind of stand on their own two feet, I think, a lot of times based on the strength of some of the characters in the film. Um, and I thought certainly hers was a very, very strong character and I thought she carried the film particularly well. Everybody else in the film, I think, does a fine job. I think Bryce Anthony Heller as Schroeder, like the main villain, I suppose, in the film, this, this teenager who's throwing the party, um, he does a pretty decent job, a quite complex performance, you know, very villainous in one scene and quite... Um, anxious in the next sort of thing. It, it, it does a pretty decent job here. I think s sometimes this film fails to deliver on, um, you know, really hammering home the tension here. Um, a lot, a lot of the film is filled with dialogue in a sense of, you know, she's having dialogue with him and others trying to convince them to do this, that, and the other. They're doing the same to her, trying to convince her another. And you, you kind of know where it's going and you just kind of want the film to get there. It's like, okay, we know, uh, this is going to end in some kind of conflict. Just kind of get on with it now. Um, and, and it does. And it, then it, it's a pretty smart film in a sense of it doesn't go over the top you know what i mean this this kid doesn't suddenly turn into michael myers you know he's definitely um a teenager that's kind of been backed into a corner here by what her ultimatum she's basically saying you know because she's got the phone and the evidence she's basically saying you know i'm getting out of here with this phone and i'm going to give it to the police 
and he's obviously desperate to get that phone back. So you do, you do see that side of desperation from him and his friends, um, and because the, they're not slick criminals by any stretch of the imagination. And the film takes an interesting turn when Dermot Mulroney and Anne Hesch turns up. Now, Dermot Mulroney plays like the father, he's the senator, and Anne Hesch plays the mother. Now, when he turns up, uh, it adds a different dimension to the film. It kind of takes it in a slightly different direction. It, it was a direction I predicted a little... For the, well, yeah, I did. I predicted what was coming next. It's not really hard not to predict it, really, if you know what I mean. Um, th there's a scene, you know, where you watch it, and I don't want to spoil it. You watch it, and you're just kind of like, don't do that. That's not going to end well. And they do it, and it doesn't end well. <laughs> So it does, the last quarter of this film, while it was certainly watchable and, you know, fairly entertaining, if I'm honest, um, it was also quite predictable. Um, so that there's that to contend with as well. It's, it's, it's actually a fairly tidy, nicely made film, this. It just fails to kind of elevate, elevate it to, you know, what you would, be described as memorable this isn't what I would describe as memorable um, it's just well made with decent performances with a um, a strong level of predictability going on but you know it's well directed there's uh, good production values going in here it's a nicely polished film uh, and if you like these type of thrillers that kind of you know dips its toes into horror as well then you know I think you could do far worse than this I just think it just fell short, I think, of being memorable and what you would describe as a you know a pretty good film. It wasn't a million miles away from a 7 out of 10 for me, but as it stands, 6 out of 10 is probably the best score I could give this one. So I hope you enjoy this review. I will, of course, be back with plenty more reviews on the channel very, very soon.